I have been thinking a lot about things that I enjoy in life and how to make the most of those things while sticking to my frugal, thrifty budget and spending within my means and what's reasonable for me. So I have always loved purses and handbags and wallets. Since the name of my channel is Well Behaved Wallet. I've always loved handbags and wallets. And lately, because I am on this extreme sort of frugal living um, journey and a journey to financial independence, I really aim to be very thrifty and deliberate um, and intentional about how I spend my money. So that means that I have lately um, shopped my own closet and really looked at what I have for myself, um, I have within my own collection, and turned to loving that rather than looking for new things. Number one, I just don't have the budget, the, the funds right now, it's not a budget priority to buy new things, to buy expensive things, to buy de designer things. Enter the video about how if you want to be rich, you don't look rich. So all of these things in mind, my views on spending and on what true luxury is have shifted dramatically. So where I used to be focused on how I looked and how I, it wasn't what other people thought of me, but how I could buy these quote, status symbols, how I could acquire these status symbols. And I would look for a good deal and I would look on eBay and I would look on all these different forums to try to get what I wanted for cheaper. The point is I was looking to buy that status item, like that Louis Vuitton wallet or this, you know, Prada bag that symbols that I've made it rather than actually making it, which for me is increasing my net worth. That's the number one thing for me is to increase my net worth. So on that topic of looking at what I truly enjoy and what makes me happy and also what's functional. That is something else that I have been working toward is how to look for items that support what my life looks like now. I'm busy, I'm working, I'm a mom, I have, I um, commute two days a week, so I need to be on the go. We have a small, very compact 765 square foot a living space. So I also need to be mindful of that. To me right now, true luxury is time. That's the number one thing, time and space. So for me, it makes more sense to own less than to own more. So that is the number one thing. Uh, and I want to, I want to say that again, true luxury is time and space, right? True luxury is time and space. I can't say it enough. So I need to remind myself of that. That said, something that also helps the flow of my life is to have well-organized, durable, aesthetically pleasing where possible items that support how my life is currently. Because if I can have all my things organized and in different sort of like bags or sections, that which is again, something that I enjoy. But if I can have everything organized, it just helps everything flow simpler in my life. And I feel more mentally ready to face the day. So that in mind, I have recently acquired this item. And this is a crossbody wallet from Rough and Tumble. And I have to thank Carolyn Gray from Carolyn Gray today for really publicizing or getting me into this brand. And also Tiffany from LV Coffee Lover. I do not, I unsubscribe to 90% of the luxury channels that I watch just because that's so far removed from my everyday um, my everyday life. It just doesn't, that's not a budget priority at all. The name is not the budget, is not the priority. I would rather have experiences that in, in savings and in adding to my net worth, that would give me more peace, infinitely more peace than actually having peace of mind than having the item. That said, again, being organized is a huge help, especially as I'm on the go and moving um, between um, our home and my mom's house to work where I go to work. So this item is a crossbody wallet and it's just, it's perfect for my life right now. It has a top zip. I have all my cards and stuff organized there. So I thought I would just kind of show you around so that I can, I thought I would show you around to give you an idea of what's working for my life right now. Again, I'm my, my daughter's a year, just turned a year. So this is kind of taking me some time to adjust and now I have kind of everything that I need. So it's got a zip top, it's got a crossbody strap. It also has a wristlet. And I bought this off of um, a Facebook group. There are tons of rough and tumble Facebook groups you can join. So there's a wristlet strap as well that you can hook on if you don't want that big giant crossbody 
strap. And the idea is that everything I need quickly is in this bag and it's just, it's beyond perfect. So I have my, in the front pocket, I have my car keys and my house keys set up and they don't touch anything else. So they're completely separate, which is helpful. Then on the inside, I have another rough and tumble item. This is the card case of the trio. So it's got two sides to it. And on the inside, I put my cash. I mentioned that I am transitioning to cash from using my credit card for monthly expenses. And this is great to have. I can just reach in and buy it. And the thing I love too is that it doesn't look like an obvious it's not, there's no logos, there's nothing obviously, um, let's say expensive about it. Uh, it's just a, a plain, simple, well-made leather um, pouch, purse, if you will, wallet. Um, and then I have a little uh, car case. This is one of the ones that goes, like, it's a magic wallet from, like, 2004. So you go on this side, and if you can see, it's like, if you get, have cash or whatever, there with. So... <laughs> You have, you can put your cash there and then you close it and then you open it up on the other side and your cash is under the mark. This is from J. Crew. Ancient from 2003. Uh, a friend gave it to me. I didn't even buy it. Um, she was getting rid of things and so she gave it to me and I was like, sure, I'll take it. So this is a quick grab and go pouch, um, card cold holder for my most used cards if I need to switch into a different bag, which I haven't had to so far. So that is a great item. Um, and then this is um, a rosary card. I'm not Catholic, but this was given to us um, by a gentleman at a very pivotal part in our family history. We were going through a rough time with a family member and we were in sort of a family support group. And this gentleman, there may be 12 of us, 10 of us, and a gentleman gave everyone in the family support group these rosary cards. This is from like 2006. And I've kept it since then because I just, it was such a sweet, kind gesture. Um, and it just, it makes me feel positive when I, when I look at it. So that's what's in here. And then I have this little, uh, case for coins. I've got to get my Aldi quarter for the carts at Aldi. And that's that. So another thing I love about having cash is if, so there are these on the city streets in Manhattan, all around, but specifically I've seen these coming up more in, um, lately in the city is like fruit carts, fruit and produce carts. And I've been meaning to stop there um, lately to see if they have good deals. And I like to use cash, right? I like to just kind of cash and go. So that has been helpful there. So that's that. This is, again, this is the crossbody wallet from Rough and Tumble. And I think I've been looking for something like this for the longest time. There's also a zippered pocket on the inside and I put um, cosmetics in there, things that I, these are my two essentials. <laughs> That I can't be without. This is a Lancome um, Lancome concealer, Tenty Doll, and this is a Huda Beauty Liquid Mate um, lip and cheap stain. These are my two essentials for cosmetics, and that way I have them with me at all times. So if I need to just grab something and go, this is what I grab. If I wanted to put like a hand sanitizer, I could do that too, um, and then just run for it, which I've had to do several times in the past month. So that's what I got. That is something that I enjoy. And I just really like feeling it. It's just pleasant to the touch. It's durable. And they're made in Maine, like actually made in Maine, one at a time. And if you go on the web, the Rough and Tumble website, you can see the prices reflect that they are made in Maine, which I'm happy to support. So that's what I got for you as kind of an item this week, something that is bringing me joy. Um, and it's something that I enjoy using every time I use it. So there you go.